Hey, do you want to serve God well? Ha, watch me and do what I do. <laughs> Sounds boastful, doesn't it? Well, if I were speaking that from my own lips, you might just stop right here. But I'm quoting. Welcome to Mornings with Bishop Robert. Thanks for joining me because truly I do this for you. My goal is to introduce people to the Jesus they never knew, then help them get to know him and his word personally and better. So if our time together today speaks to your heart, let me invite you to like, subscribe, and also share this with a friend. You can also join our email list. You'll get the free copy of my book, Count to One, that you can download, and you'll get Mornings with Bishop Robert sent directly to your inbox every day. And there's a bunch of other great benefits too, so just click the link in the description and you'll find out all about them. Well, I said I was quoting. That is totally true. Actually, I was quoting from both the Old Testament and the New Testament. When one thinks of the top military units in the world, Israel's special forces is always near the top of any list. Their officers are trained to lead like Gideon, the man found in the book of Judges. In Judges chapter 7, Gideon tells the 300 soldiers who were left with him, watch me and do what I do. When Jesus said, follow me, it wasn't an invitation to vacation on the Sea of Galilee. It was a call to be trained as his disciples. Paul the Apostle told the church in Corinth, follow me as I follow Christ. It was not a boastful claim, rather the direction of one who was living his life well in the service to his king. When you look at how clearly Paul also described his struggles, his difficulties, his failures, the context defines the meaning. Paul's telling us, hey, look at me. If I can do it, then you can do it too. Those closest to you get to know you very well. Now, the world may think you're wonderful in every way, but your inner circle sees your failures as well as your victories. And how one deals with both as they serve Christ speaks volumes about who you are. Today's verse says, reflect the glory of the Lord. We're to be like mirrors reflecting his glory. But don't forget that one may only see something in the mirror if it's close enough. You know, I remember sitting in a hotel room and writing a devotional and that hotel room had a very large mirror. It was over eight feet tall and three feet wide. It was, <laughs> it was massive, really. Right now, it's not reflecting me. I moved away from it. I'm sitting my desk. Stay close to Christ. Let him stay close to you. That's how you get a reflection. That's how you let his character mold you and shape you and impress his image on you. Let him focus the light of his love on you. It reveals what's missing. It also reveals what must go. And as you become more and more of who he's created you to be, well, you're going to reflect more and more of his glory. And as you do that, you'll also be better able to teach others to do the same. Not a list of rules, but a way of living out a love-driven relationship. Because love leads. Love cleanses. Love covers. Love never ends. And love wins. You know, the words of St. Francis of Assisi describe my life to a T. He said, I have been all things unholy. If God can use me, <laughs> he can use anyone. Hey, live the kind of life people want to live for themselves. Walk in his peace. Be his hands, his feet, his voice. May God bring us all to the place where we can say, 
Do you want to serve God well? Hey, watch me and do what I do. One of the things I'd like to ask you to do what I do is help me introduce people to the Jesus they never knew. And then continue to help them get to know him and his word personally and better. Would you please like this video? It really does help more people to see it, especially if you leave a comment. And then click follow or subscribe so that you and I can get together every single day. One more thing. Would you share this video with a friend today? Because as you do, you're part of the team. Touching hearts all over the world with the love of Jesus. Thanks for helping.